Want to learn how to add baby hair to a crochet wig? In this video, I will cover step-by-step -step instructions on how I add baby hair to my crochet wigs. Hi, Kamra Clark here from Elon Blue Talks, where I help you to create stunning wigs through easy to follow steps, explore simple protective hairstyle options, and share tips on growing healthy, beautiful hair naturally. So let's jump right into it. I love, love, love the idea of crochet wigs. However, I noticed when I first started wearing them that once I stepped into the sun, it was always an issue with uh, color matching. So I decided to completely close the whole wig off and make a full wig with none of my hair out at all. And that's when I decided to attach these small little pieces of hairs to the outer perimeter of my wig. And that is what I call the baby hairs. You can do this with whatever color uh, unit you have, whether it's blonde, red, purple, green, yellow. The idea of adding baby hairs to crochet wigs really do kind of finish off the wig so that it doesn't matter what color hair you have, it will look like it's yours, you know? Stick around to the end and I'll show you how I trim and frame the baby hair around my face. Some of the tools you're gonna need. A crochet needle. A small one, I believe this one is 1.3 millimeter. You're gonna need scissors, of course, just in case you need to cut something off. You are going to need a stand and, of course, a mannequin head. And the hair I'm using is the Caribbean Braid Janet Collection. So, usually, I cut roughly about six inches off so about that much you can see that okay so just just about six to give you some extra room to play around with but we are going to cut about six inches off now and then this is what you are left with to work with the baby hair and usually this is probably about mm, this is probably about all you'll need for baby hairs maybe just a little bit more but roughly that's about all you'll need okay so this is the wig cap that we are going to be using clearly it looks like a stocking right now but once you add the the hairs to it it turns into an amazing wig and this is how see-through it is so that's why it's really important in for me not to wear another cap underneath the wig because it's so transparent that whatever you put underneath it will show through. So this is the rim of the cap. And when I am crocheting the entire wig, like this part, these parts here, I have this part down so that I can get as close to the edge as possible. But when I do the baby hair, I flip it under like this and the baby hair is attached to this part of it, this part of the cap. So that's something to be mindful if you're using this kind of a cap to go ahead and just tuck that, tuck that rim under and then start to attach the baby hairs. So step one is going to be to flip that elastic band under the cap so that the ridges aren't out. Step two, in your dominant hand, hold the crochet needle and in your resting hand, place the cut hair that you set aside for the baby hair onto the index finger and lay it across there. Fan it out so that it's easy to pull out and step three, begin crocheting. So what you want to do as you're crocheting is place the hook underneath the band and pierce through it. So th the process is exactly the same as if you were crocheting normally. The only difference is that now you are going to pierce through the fabric. So you may have to apply just a little bit more pressure to get the needle through 
even twisting it may be necessary in order to get it through that band but the process is exactly the same so you just want to take that needle pierce it through the fabric wiggle it once you've grabbed the hair all the way through so you're just gonna take that hook pierce it through the fabric grab hold on to maybe about five or six pieces of hair pull it through the fabric if you have to wiggle it a little do that that's why the needle that you're using is the 1.6 millimeter because you really need a small needle in order to get through that fabric easily with a bigger needle or regular size crochet needle for crocheting hair you may not be able to do get it through as easily or as clean just make sure as you're doing this as you're crocheting that the hair that you have draped over your index finger is evenly distributed so that at the end of the process the length of your baby hair is about three inches usually once i'm completed the wig i'll cut about a half of an inch off because even three inches of baby hair is just a little too long, but it's better to have longer baby hair than too short of, of a baby hair. That way you're able to cut it if needed, but if it's too short, then it's not much you can do about it. And that is about it. You would repeat the whole process all the way around the perimeter of the band. Let's speed this process up a bit, but that's pretty much it for the baby hair. It's just that easy. As stated earlier in the video, I'm now gonna show you how I trim around the baby hair and just kind of get it in place and make it look as natural as possible. So I've already pinned down the hairs and these are the pins I use. But I'm gonna show you kind of how I place it in and I have a video on that. So if you wanna see that in more details, check out this link here, right here. And what I'm doing is just any extra little pieces that's hanging out, I just take it off so that it gives a more cleaner, natural look. And most of the time, I if I'm using um, a colored wig, I do glue it down. But because I am not gonna wear this all day, I've decided not to. And this crochet wig is not really for those who like to keep their hair kind of neat. This is definitely more of a messy, a messy uh, wig kind of look. It's kind of hard to get this look to be tamed. So I just don't even try to. I just let it be natural, let it be wild and free and a little unruly, you know? This is when I want to be a little unruly and not so polished but that doesn't mean that the baby hairs can't be just a little bit more put together but it's not going to be like this slick back kind of look even the ponytail is kind of very big and loud you know and loose but that's how that's how i like it and when i don't when i want to wear something a little bit more sleek a little bit more refined a little more put together then i'll do that but for now, this is wonderful for me. So like I said, we're just taking little pieces of hairs off, not too much, patting it in place, figuring out where it wants to go, 
where it looks best. And that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please do like and share till next time